Hey everyone, I'm Matthew with Z1, and we're here with Z1 Joe. You guys already know me. We're gonna talk about this new intake that we have here on the table. Uh, we've had a lot of people specifically asking for something new for the G35, we hear you. Uh, Joey's the engineer behind this design, so we're going to, I'm gonna ask him some questions and get familiar with it. So uh, one of the things that catches my eye, Joe, is that uh, we have a very unique uh, air box here with the snorkel. What's, what's the idea behind that? Yes, Matthew, we do. So the factory G35 box is uh, actually a three-piece construction, usually with the main box here. You have a little power duct up here, and then you have another front uh, little duct piece that most cars are honestly missing. Um, it helps grab in that high pressure air coming right behind the grill. Um, we wanted to kind of simplify that. We didn't want it to be, if you're missing these pieces, you're not gonna be able to run our intake. So we decided you're gonna scrap your entire factory intake and you'll be able to throw the new Z1 intake in as a complete system. Hassle-free, very easy install, easy to not lose a bunch of little parts with it. Awesome. A um, couple things that catch my eye is that uh, it's got this little hump here. What's the what's that all about? Is that just a, a, an aesthetic thing, or is that uh, mostly aesthetic? Like, yeah, that's the the power bulge, as we call okay. it. Okay. You know, just kind of when the air is coming through there, kind of represents a nice shape of the filter. We don't leave the top of this, you know, bland and dry. You know, people like to spice up the way their engine bays look. We figure the rest of the intake already looks so cool. Yeah. And with the rotor motor construction of this, we can really do any shape we want as far as the inside and outside goes. Cool. Tell us about what the flow is versus the stock intake. So stock intake um, uh, on our flow bench flows about 10% less air than this guy's capable of. Um, and also with that little power duct I have up there, you're gonna be drawing in a bit more hot air just from higher up in the engine bay. We are drawing a little bit of air in from the engine bay, but most of it is still from that high pressure area behind the grill yeah. like I explained earlier. Um, once the air goes in there, it comes into our box, then it goes into our air filter, which has an integrated velocity stack inside of it. Very cool. That's going to help it so the air is less turbulent going through the intake pipe. Um, and it also has a little stepped diameter in there to perfectly match the diameter of the intake tube here. So that way the air is not getting any uh, disruptions when it's going through. Normally, you know, with like a coupler, you have your smaller tube and then your bigger tube's going around it. That just creates a little gap. Creates that turbulence. This is an entire seamless system through from the filter to the tube, back to this, to the throttle body. So speaking of the throttle body, you were showing me this earlier. So that's the step diameter I was talking about. That's that about. step diameter. You probably can't see it on the camera, but it's got this step to it. So when it meets up to the throttle body, it's got that smooth transition. So it, again, it doesn't create that turbulent air, correct. Just helps get everything flowing better. You know, that's a lot of places where the factory intake struggles. A lot of them have that corrugated section. Yeah. And you know, they have little noise boxes and everything on there that just is disturbing the air, creating turbulent air, not getting the best flow possible. Awesome. What about power gains? So power gains, um, we threw this on one of the other engineer, Lucas. He's got a G35 sedan. And just with the intake box, we were able to, I believe it was 13 wheel horsepower and 11 foot pounds of torque. And then when we combine that with a plumb spacer, we got an additional five uh, horsepower increase, actually. Pretty respectable. So pretty nice. Definitely, you're going to feel it in the car. You know, I mean, you're getting five, 10% more horsepower out of your DE. You know, that paired with a bunch of other mods. And that was without a tune as well. So the capabilities there, this car, you can definitely put in down probably 270 wheel horsepower, you know, on our dyno with John Tune. Very good. So we got improved aesthetics improved quality improved flow improved power yes anything else we're missing um we can just highlight a couple of the other features that we have in here so to clean up your engine bay a little bit we'll flip it over we ended up moving the math housing to the bottom of the intake just cleans it up a nice better look um, still very easy to go in there and unplug it if you ever need to take the intake out um, install is a breeze with this thing it's basically two steps but we just figured you know that just helps clean everything up a lot um, same with our PCV hoses, we're moving those to the bottom. I believe on the G35s, they are actually on top. So just another thing, Kinda you cleans know, up the look a little bit. You know, I mean, it's a small detail, but every detail adds up, if, especially when you're at a car show popping your hood, you know, people are noticing these kind of things. Yeah. Another nice feature we have actually going back to the filter is that we have this nice little step right here, which clips perfectly into the box. Um, it really just makes install a breeze as far as, you know, you can touch your filter right in the box. You're not going to deal with any post clamping or hardware or bolting anything from filter to box. Um, you know, the factory um, intake system, the map housing actually pulls to the box. So if you ever want to take all that apart, you know, you're sitting there, you got your eight millimeters, your seven millimeters, your 10 millimeters, probably 12 millimeters somewhere around there. 
Um, this one is really just zip off your hose clamps and pop this guy out. Awesome. All right, cool. Well, Z1 Joe, thanks for the thanks for the detailed analysis of this new intake. Um, this is live on Z1Motorsports.com now. If you have any other questions or comments, uh, feel free to give us a call and uh, hoping to see these out on your cars. Take care.